Hey guys, so for the last week or so I've been on vacation in the US, so um, I took the opportunity to pick up some new toys and I thought I would show the haul. So uh, starting off, I found the new Diamond Select Pete at a um, box lunch store, I think. And since I had not, since I had them on pre-order from Big Bad Toy Store already, I um, got a really good deal on them and I cancelled the pre-order. And I'm really happy with him. He scales really well with SH figures, actually, and I don't think the SH figure is going to make one. So it's a win-win situation. I'll show a pic later on. Okay. Furthermore, I got some Marvel Legends. I got the Deadpool Domino. Uh, I don't really have a big connection to the character. I just think she looks really cool, so... I eh, figured I would just do it. She was also the only one from the entire series available. But, hey. Uh, moving on, I also picked up the classic Taskmaster, which I really like. The one thing I'm not really positive, though, about is the head. I think it's the eyes. I don't really like how the eyes are made. They're too far apart and they're a bit too squinty. But the body it's the body and the accessories and everything is really nice. The cape is also really nice. I'm contemplating just painting it, maybe white and maybe redoing the eyes. But then there's also my old Taskmaster head. Um one sec. Come on. Yeah, this, this looks really cool. I'm not really sure if I should paint the other head. What do you guys think? Okay, moving on. I also... I found a really good deal for the NECA David Jones figure. Uh, if you are into this series at all, you, you should know that this figure goes for insane money on eBay, but I got it for like 20 quid. So I just had to pick him up, even though I already have a David Jones figure. But here's my old one, and he's a bit short, as you can see. And while I am pretty proud of the re-sculpt on the face, it's also one of my earlier things, so there are a lot of things that really bugs me about it. So, what I think, what I was thinking was, I can probably re-sculpt this face. Because as you can see, it's really inaccurate to the move, like this part here is completely wrong, it's supposed to be like a straight line here. And uh, he's also got like, almost like a nose sculpted in. And uh, the face for the tentacles is all wrong, it's not brown, it's supposed to be like a yellowish, yellow like translucent, translucent color. Also the coat is a bit too light blue, it's supposed to be like a dark blue, it's because it's all wet and grimy and muddy. Yeah, um, we'll see what I'll do about that. It's also a shame that she doesn't really have an articulation. Like, this Disney store figure has way more articulation. Oh well. Uh, furthermore, I visited Little Tokyo and I picked up the Armika. The SH Figure Arts Armika. And I'm just a big fan of the character. And since I, I'm not really sure if Storm Collectibles are ever going to release one, I thought this was a really good chance to pick, him, pick, it, to pick her up. She was only 60 bucks. And, um... I don't know if I'm gonna try to make her taller because she is a, she is a bit short in comparison to Storm Collectibles. Uh, one sec. Oops. As you can see, she's a bit on the tiny side. I was thinking maybe the boots could be a little bit longer, maybe. And uh, just for comparison's sake, here she is. Next to Zangief, who is absolutely massive in comparison to her. 
but at the same time, I'm not really sure how, like, if you prop her up on his shoulder, if that's gonna look good. Um, she also has, like, the le best sculpted legs I've ever seen on a female. Whoa! Makeshift. I mean, now she doesn't look out of scale, but it's not, it's not good. As long as she doesn't stand up in a vanilla pose, she looks fine, I think. Another thing I'm probably gonna do is... Um, I think this face is a bit plain. It doesn't really fit her bubbly personality all that well, so what I might do is I might just paint in like a smile. This shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I was also at Disneyland and I went to the Disney stores and I found that they actually had Tarkin and I haven't seen him anywhere before. And uh, I just had to buy him. I cancelled my pre-order from Big Bad Toy Store as well. Uh, there's one thing I want to show you guys though. This is probably the best head sculpt I've ever seen on a, on a 112th scale figure. With the camera can focus. No, oh, it cannot focus apparently. This looks like a mini Hot Toys figure. It's insane how much this looks like Peter Cushing. Here's something I also picked up. Okay, so I was never really into the original Thundercats, but I think the 2011 show is really good, actually. And I found like, I got a good deal on all the figures. Tigra there is supposed to be really expensive and goes for like 60 bucks alone, and I got them for like 10. So, yeah, I got the entire set. Uh, plus, I also picked up a loose Snarf. And Snarf in this show, if you haven't watched it, is really cute. He's not annoying in the slightest. See, he only does like high pitched cat sounds. But yeah, these figures are a 6 inch scale, and uh, I think the groundwork is there. They, they just need a little bit of touching up. Like Chitara's eyes are a bit small, her lips are also like the wrong. Shape. I can easily fix up with paint. I'm gonna see if I can try to paint her eyes a bit bigger. Lano, his eyes are a bit plain. There's no black in them at all. Uh, Tigra looks to pretty much be perfect. And Panthro's head, his eyes need some eyelashes or something. Just like a line at the top of his eyes because he looks insane at the moment. But yeah, this is my big USA haul. So just doing like a quick update, showing you guys what's going on, what's probably gonna happen in the future. Uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna fix these up at some point. Might be even right now after I'm done with the video. But yeah, I'll see you later.